Howdy y'all, I'm Jester and today I will be reviewing Knight's Chronicle as well as doing a short walkthrough and even doing a big summon towards the end of the video. So what is Knight's Chronicle? Well, it's what I refer to as a MOBA monster collector. It's basically like a card collector slash RPG you can play on your mobile device. Some examples of other games in this genre would be Summoner's War and Seven Knights. So let's go ahead and go to, go to a quick adventure just to show you guys what it looks like. Here's you have some monsters here. I'll explain that in a bit. Alright, so Knight's Chronicle is from Nar Net Marble. That's Net Marble, who also gave us Seven Knights. And if you played SK or Seven Knights, you'll notice some very striking similarities. I mean, it kind of looks like they use the same game engine and even a lot of the same character models. Which I don't mind, because I really enjoyed Seven Knights, and I am really enjoying this game as well. So, other than it being very strikingly similar to Seven Knights, another thing you'll notice is that it has a lot more of an anime-ish type feel. Even the original voice acting is Japanese, as you can hear. So, I mean, if you like RPGs, anime, and collecting waifus, then this game is for you. So, let's get into it. How to play. What to do. Knight's Chronicle and the likes is based on card games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh. You collect heroes and they fight for you in various ways. From adventure to PvP and everything in between. You can level up your monsters and there's different skills. As well as equip them with runes to make them stronger. You'll have teams of five and the heroes have different class attributes. Uh, there's dark, light, fire, water and wind, each with their own elemental advantage, which makes them stronger or weaker against a specific element. Water beats fire, fire beats wind, wind beats water, and dark and light are basically like natural enemies, so they hurt each other. Now each hero can go up to six stars and level to 50 then you can sacrifice other six star heroes or uh, evolution mons which I'll go over in a different video uh, to level break your heroes and increase their level in increments of two all the way to level 60 there we go here's an example of one of the heroes this is Kane or Wild Warrior Kane Now you can also enhance them, as you can see by this little purple star right here, uh, and their skills, but I won't go into that video, into this video. Each monster has three skills, two passives, and one leader skill. Like for example, for Kane, uh, he has zap, zap, zap as his third skill, and it inflicts penetration damage equal to 300% of attack to one target. Uh, his second skill is Dark Beast. It inflicts damage equal to 110% of attack to three targets, 35% of chance to decrease the target's recovery amount by 100% for two turns. And of course, his first skill, Beastly Blast, which, which inflicts damage equal to 100% of attack to one target, 30% of the time, uh, chance to decrease the target's recovery amount by 100% for two turns. Uh, there are also different grades. Uh, of the heroes, which is rare, super rare, and super secret rare. It's kind of reminiscent of old school card collector. As you can say, see, Kane is a super secret rare. Uh, there's rares you see. We got William here, the Guardian Knight. He's a rare, super rare, which is also the main character at the very beginning when you start playing. His name is Theo. Uh, apologies for the pronunciations if I get them right or wrong. I'm pronouncing him however I see him. Uh, he's an SR knight. Now you obviously want the SSRs, those are the cream of the crops here. Uh, they're the ones that are going to be uh, reaching end game or the ones you're going to be concentrating on. But the rares and the super rares have their uh, 
moments as well. They serve their purpose and not always as fodder. Now you get these heroes by playing the game or through summoning. Now I won't go through everything in this video but I'll go through over some of the things you can do and tips for easier progression. Uh, things you can do, one of the first things you can do is eat is adventure which we just did right now and you do that by clicking that little adventure button and you have different ones now when you first start it will, will only have one little section that you can pick and you'll only be able to go to easily once you go to the section it'll have uh, different places of course it'll these little areas will open up as you complete them so you want to start off at the very beginning it won't let you start anywhere else and just hit that start button nice. now as you can see it was it automatically started playing but you can do manual in fact I think it starts off as manual so you can pick the skills you want as well as well as who you want to target uh, different skills do different things they're single target like this one and then there's AOE damage like this one and there's even different types of uh, passive or support skills that help your characters like this one that does a shield Now, if you don't want to do manual, a lot of people, what they do is they run the game on auto. Uh, you can turn on or turn off cinematics. Cinematics, I'm going to show you one right now, um, they are usually done on the third skill. So this is Kane's zap, zap, zap. Which, as you can see, does a lot of damage, especially when you've maxed out the characters and you're going for an easy stage. And once you win, you get the spoils of war, uh, various items drop like event items, runes, and even monsters. And uh, this is an evolution mon or rainbow mon. There's different kinds of mons. I won't really go through all of them in this one. I'll have a different video that will um, basically describe all the monsters. Now on top of uh, adventure, there's also PvP. Um, that's pretty much good, what you're probably going to be focusing on in this game, that your monsters... While the, the adventure and is fun and the story is moderately interesting, um, arena is where it's at, and as well as guild battles. I'll go ahead and do a one arena battle just to show you how it is. Now, keep in mind, I am right now an expert, which is actually pretty high. Um, I've been playing this game for, I want to say... A week and a half now give or take no not even that like a week yeah a week and a few days so there is quite a bit of tears here you start off at bronze and then you work yourself all the way up to champion if you can uh, right now I am an expert and it's getting pretty hard to win so let's go ahead and try one out go ahead and hit that ready button and what it'll do is it'll randomly select somebody for you to fight now if you don't like this little group you want to take a shot you can actually spend gold which is found up here to search again and it'll give you something else so let's go ahead and go with this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to win, to be honest, with my group, but we'll see. I highly recommend you do manual when you do arena. Don't want to do an auto, though you can if you want. But manual definitely gives you a better shot at winning. Uh, for sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and cancel cinematics. Let's see. So as you can see, there's a elemental in this kind, there's, and each one has their weakness. Uh, right now I'm with this character, which is a wind character, and she is going to go against this character, which is a water. I think her name is Esna, and my character is Ruby. 
So I'm going to use her third skill, which basically inflicts damage equal to 330% of attack to one target. It doesn't start off like that. I did level it up, so it normally would have been 300%. So this should do a decent amount of damage to her. Not bad, not bad. So I just did another skill on, on with, with Kane. I'm sorry, I skipped to do that, but kind of get used to playing the game real quick. And as you can see, they revived her again. So that's why I want to go ahead and use this skill. Inflicts damage to 100%, but that's not what I'm worried about. I want to decrease their recovery amount, and that's kind of an AOE. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this one. Oh well. So as you can see I cannot attack with her because she is done. Alright, I took one out. But things are not looking good for me. Well, the good thing is that he procced his skill, which allows a bit of damage absor uh, absorption. So, hopefully, he will not die soon. Let's see. Yeah. By the way, Kane for PvP must. If you don't have Kane. Find a way to get it, Kane. Hope, hope you, the RNG gods help you. Alright, it's just Ruby now. Pretty sure I'm gonna lose. Really helps that I leveled her up, though. That's that uh, level 60 skill. Alright, so I lost. Not a big deal, I wasn't expecting to win, especially not at this level. But I just want to show you guys. So PvP is another thing you can do. Another thing you can do is, is uh, first of all, you want to join a guild. And once you're in a guild, you can actually do some guild battles. Or guild dungeon. I'm not going to do that now, but basically you just pick a little area here. And... Go ahead and hit that ready button and you'll face a monster or you know a bunch of monsters obviously. And here it'll show you the status of your guilds, you know, letting them know who they're attacking. And you want to go ahead and uh, attack the same one. So as you can see here is 25 out of 35. Um, you really don't really want to be scattering one because the more you complete the better mission rewards. Here it'll show you what you can complete and what you'll get once you complete these areas uh, and they're done as a guild. Uh, on top of that, there's various types of dungeons you can do. Uh, one of the things that I would highly recommend you do is the evolution dungeons or the growth dungeons. Uh, there's one for evolution, there's XP dungeons, uh, there's material dungeons, which again I'll go in with another video. Gold dungeons is very, very important. Gold is very important in this game. And room dungeon. Uh, on top of gold, there's also these little gems here or crystals. Uh, crystals are very important. Crystals is what you use to summon monsters. Uh, you can also summon mon. You can also you get the monsters from just completing various things, uh, achievements and whatnot. Uh, just a little some tips that I would suggest when you're first starting is first of all log in every day. There's prizes galore. Just look at this. I got a hundred stamina, and every ten minutes it's going to give me more, or whatever else. You want to go to town. You want to go ahead and upgrade everything and keep in mind this at the very beginning this uh, game will walk you through it pretty easily so it's not something with a huge learning curve you want to go ahead and collect on your mind do everything in your in in your town uh, roulette's always fun you use your pow points which again you want to go ahead and uh, get friends uh, it's very easy just you know play the game and it'll actually have you br bring helpers watch let me go ahead and show you that So here you can actually team up with various people that play in the game a lot. There, this is 
not only people that are already in your friends list, but potential friends. You just hit that team up, team up button, and it'll pick a helper for you, and hit that start, and it'll be like you're bringing on, bringing along a friend. Along now, on top of being helpful and adding an extra character to your group, which will actually not add an extra character; it'll just give you their their player in your spot, basically. But it'll also give you pow points. You can do, get pow points by using a friendly player in your team or by sending social points to friends you already have. You're going to hit that send receive button and it'll tell you how much you received and that's where you get these pow points. Now these pow points can be used for various things in your town. Um, two things that I highly re recommend doing every day is do spinning the roulette and you can get various things like it changes it's not always just runes like this one is going to be a, a rune spin and you can get various levels I'm going to go ahead and do that right now you want to hope for like a six star rune because that's those are the best ones you can have and we got a four star not too bad and it's a rune ticket once you get that you can go ahead and go to your inbox and there's various things that you collect every day and there's the rune ticket collect it and there it is and let's go ahead and spin that again because you get two turns every 12 hours and this time I believe it changed to a different one no I think we're still on runes yeah. but you see the next time around it switched to hero tickets so the next time I spin I'll be able to spin on a hero and then there's Paolato and here you just spin again you can do one at a time or you can do the max I usually do two or three as long as I have the power points and it's like roulette you know or some kind of little board game you get random chance to get various things like essence and monster tickets and you get all this by going and upgrading your town hall when you upgrade your town hall with either money or or these crystals I would suggest using money or gold as much as you can because crystals you want to save for those summons now uh, on top of that you want to go ahead and uh, do the daily achievements daily achievements are very very important because they give you more free stuff and this is very much a game where free to play players, that's people that don't want to pony up the dough uh, for a pay to win game, can still be very viable. So as long as you just do everything, like here you want to go ahead and challenge the bounty list, hit that go no button, it'll actually take you exactly where you need to go and here's the bounty list. This is something you also you want to do on a daily basis. What you do is you just pick one of these, you hit accept and then you just go do it. You go fight the adventure and once you win, you'll get the bounty. Once you complete everything, you'll get the uh, the bounty capture, which is 110 percent, 110,000 gold, which is not bad. All together with all the bounties, you get 221,800. Uh, that's good. You want to get as much gold and as much crystals as you can in this game because that's where you uh, get all the stuff you need. Uh, don't forget, no, don't forget, neglect your town. You want to go and level up everything. Because uh, then at the very end you get stuff like Goddess Falls, which allow you to summon heroes. Uh, right now I only have four star heroes, but if I upgrade my Goddess Falls, it'll allow me to summon four and five star heroes. It's still pretty pricey for 300,000 gold, but you know, it's if you need a hero and you don't have the crystals for summon, that's another way to summon. Uh, you want to go and check your secret shop. Uh, sorry, secret shop every day as well. They could have some amazing stuff here. Um, I have seen some really awesome runes that I've bought from time to time. On top of that, there's heroes and gems and essences and all kinds of stuff. Again, if you don't understand the lingo, if you're not sure what, it, what I'm talking about, keep in mind I will be making more videos for you to explain what exactly everything does. Uh, I did say you want to join a group. Okay, again, I can't stress enough you need to do those dungeons. Um, those evolution dungeons will give you uh, monsters. Um, and then as you do stuff, like see how I just uh, did the Paolato, you also do complete guild missions. 
and guild missions will help your guild as well as give you some extra stuff and uh, you can even eventually get rewards and again just do stuff do stuff and people and this game will give you give you achievements there's an achievement for everything and I'm talking about I mean just just log in and just do the regular things you know do the adventure do the PvP do your guild guild band. there's even a mission that you can do and at the very end you get you get some really awesome stuff um, and there's check-ins you know, again you want to check in every day all you do is basically just log in and you get lots of awards in fact at the very end of each week you get a super se uh, super secret rare SSR ticket it's a ticket for a random uh, a, a unique character and you get one every week in fact at the very end of the week you get a selector for one of the four nights now again I'm not going to really go through much here but I just want to give you an idea of what kind of awesome characters you have and go to the codex one second So we have various ones. Again, we have the just the regular heroes. We got the regular monsters, uh, special heroes, the super sec secret rares, and then we got specific types like the dark knights and the white knights. It's kind of like seven knights again if you played that game. Um, this is one of the characters that I got. This is Ramu. She's a healer type, so she has this nice revive. Revive up to two allies and restores 40% of their HP. Uh, restores all allies HP by 20% and decreases their debuff duration by one turn. And of course, they're just standard attack. Isn't she cute? <laughs> well, as you can see, there is a lot to learn, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to collect. And of course, I will be posting more in depth videos as time progresses. So if it seems like I missed something, and trust me, I did, uh, don't worry, I'll be doing some more videos. And if you have questions, want me to cover something, please leave a comment. Now, I did say I was going to be doing summoning at the beginning of the video, and that's what I'm going to do now. Again, that's what the, the bread and butter of what you're going to be doing is summoning, is, you know, collecting stuff. So summoning is probably one of, the, one of your most favorite things to do in this game, because that's where you get the super secret rares. Let me go ahead and check to make sure I do have room. Let's see. I'm going to do 33 monsters. Yep, I'll be. I'll have enough. Okay. So to summon, you go, go, and go ahead and hit that summon button. And there's uh, various banners you can pick from. There's the regular one that gives you a four star to five star hero summon, just randomly. You can go ahead and click that, and you can just summon a 20 at a time. That's 20 crystals per summon, or 200 for 11, so you get one extra free. I very much suggest you do the 200. Um, I've never seen good pulls from here in any game. Uh, however, they do have uh, limited limited time banners that last a certain amount of days. Usually it's about 7 days. Uh, this one they have for Ruby, Kane, and Esna. And here we have a fire rate summon. The fire rate summon is going to be the one I, I'm going to do because I already have Kane and Ruby, and I'm not really interested in getting Esna. Uh, now I do have this monster. I can't remember her name, but she is very amazing. I want more of her, and as well as I want Rue. And these are okay too. But once we're going to hove, I have 600 crystals, so that means I can do three pools of 200, and that's what we're going to do. So, without further ado, let's do a summon. Alright, so it does this, and then you go ahead and click that, and then it'll, it'll do one summon at a time, but really it already picks everything from the very beginning. And blue, which is the first uh, notch that it'll go through, is the rare, that'll go yellow, that's for the super rare, and then super secret rare, if it, if it goes to it will turn purple now here's the thing about this that a lot of people don't realize at the very beginning is if you don't get a purple at the very beginning you're not getting a purple at all it basically gives you the super secret rare first and then goes down the line 
So we're hoping for it to turn purple. Let's find out. Blue. Yellow. And here we start. So we got Jin. He's not a bad character. No. Um, let's go ahead and hit next again so you can go to the second one. We're not going to get any more purple, so they're all going to be either yellow or blue. Now we got Laurel. He's, she's not bad. She's another secret rare. Still going yellow. Eventually it will go blue, and then the rest of our characters will be blue. Let's see, O'Hara. So it looks like I haven't gotten her yet. A troubleshooter from Underworld after Scarlet lost her parents in a wolf attack. O'Hara was instrumental in helping her recover from her trauma. She is a straightforward and delightful person. She usually has a smile on her face. In fact, she can laugh off almost anything. But she's sure to lose her temper if she's disturbed while at the table. When that happens, even her best friend Scarlet can calm her down. Or cannot calm her down. Ah, she's cute. Alright, let's go ahead and go next. Well, at least we're getting a lot of super rares. Esmeralda, she's a very, very good character. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. A knight from the Grand Duchy of Delcart. That's what she is. But yes, yeah, she's good. I've heard good things of her. Oh, looks like we're going rare, so let's go ahead and hit view all because I don't want to read all of those. Not bad. We got four secret rares. Again, what you really want is a super secret rare, I'm hoping. But I get at least one in this summoning video, so let's go ahead and hit that 200 again. Alrighty. Come on. Blue. Yellow. Go purple. Go purple. Go purple. Yeah, we got a purple now. What's it gonna be? Woo! We got a lecture. Yes, I already have her, but this is definitely an extra. So you use extra characters basically copies of the character to level up the skills of that character which is actually very very important remember that 300 to 330 percent well that skill can get up to 480 percent that is a lot of damage so let's see if i can get another purple let's go ahead and hit that next button maybe it'll turn purple. come on come on and uh, no. well we got another gin not bad but man electra on that on that pull that's definitely something and we got Esther. I've gotten her before. She's a nun of the Church of the Grand Duchy of Delcart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sure I'm not. So let's go and hit next. And we're already to the rare. So let's go and hit that view all button so we can go and see them all. And that's what we got. We got woohoo! Electra. Look at her. She's beautiful. All sexy with her little demon horns. Mm. Let's see. Let's go to look at our skills. Electra's breath inflicts penetration damage equal to 120 percent of attack to all enemies. 35 percent chance to decrease their attack by 30 percent for two turns. Her second skill becomes fire incarnate for two turns and has a 100 percent chance to grant damage immunity to all allies for one turn. That is such a really good skill. Plus 40 percent chance to burn for 30 percent of all of attack to all enemies for two turns. And then of course our regular one which is Blazing Touch. That inflicts damage equal to 100% of attack to one target. 45% chance to taunt which is good because she is a very beefy character. Uh, and then later on you'll find out why taunt is even better for her because 35% chance to inflict damage equal to 20% of attack to enemies right next to the target. Now the reason her taunt is good is, let's see, Let's read this one first. 30% chance to burn the attacker for 30% of attack for two turns when attacked. So anytime somebody attacks her, she has a chance to burn the target. Now if that wasn't good enough, you have a guaranteed counterattack upon critical strike damage. 70% chance to blaze dealing additional damage equal to 200% of attacker's attack when attacked for two turns. And of course her leader skill, so that means when, when you put her as a leader, she increases the fire. Allies attack by 40% if there's five or more fire heroes. I don't know how can there, there can be more than five, but basically five. <laughs> so she's a really, really awesome character to have. I mean, she protects your guys. She does a lot of reflect and burn damage, and she's just a naturally beefy, awesome character. So we got one super secret rare. Let's see if we can get one more. We've got 200 more to go. Let's go. 
All right. Play to the RNG bus. Yellow, go purple, go purple, go purple. Oh, we got a purple. We got it. What is it? What is it? <laughs> we got Rue. Hell yeah. Yes. Rue is what I was hoping for. Rue is such an amazing healer. Let's see. Let's go ahead and read that. Rue. Uh, a maid at a castle in Tybalt, the capital city of the Grand Duchy of Delcart. She's responsible for caring for the castle's most esteemed visitors and guests are always raving about her ex exceptional hospitality. The positive feedback enabled her to become the castle's deputy head maid despite her young age. Oddly enough, she's somewhat lazy despite her skilled reputation and needs to be scolded by the head maid every once in a while when he, her work gets sloppy. She is most definitely not a morning person. I can vouch for that. I'm not a morning person either. All right. That is awesome. And a five star too. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get a twofer. Come on, go purple. Come on, go, go purple. I know you wanna. No. Lydia, Lydia, it's another, uh, I have like three copies of her right now. Definitely gonna screw her up. She's a good, really, really good se secret rare or super rare. Whatever. SR. Let's see what else we got. Chef Lonin. <laughs> a chef from the Grand Duchy of Delcard. He is on the journey to discover the finest ingredients and perfect and perfect the ultimate recipe. Not bad. So it looks like we're not gonna get any more super secret rare. That's okay. We got Hilda, she's a little cutie here. And Claudia, I actually already have a couple of her as well. And we're down to the rares. So let's go to view all. Gotta love that room, man. That's an amazing pull. Two super secret rares. It's not bad. Not bad. I mean, the the chances are pretty decent for you to get a super secret rare. Just gotta save up those gems. So let's go ahead and take a look at Rue. Her third skill revives one ally and restores 40% of the HP. Turns come more quickly and increase attack by 25% for one turn. Reset the revived ally skill to cooldowns. That's not bad. Restores HP of an ally and two adjacent allies by 30% and removes all debuffs. Grants abnormal status immunity to the target for two turns. And then her this level one skill inflict damage equal to 60% of attack to one target and two adjacent enemies. 35% chance to remove one buff. Her leader skill, if she is put as a leader, is increased fire when allies HP recovery amount by 15%. It's not bad. Let's go to her passive skills. Let's see, the first one removes damage, immunity, and shield from all enemies at the start of the run. I started the turn, I'm sorry. Restores HP of the caster and the ally with the lowest HP by 15% when the caster tries to remove the enemy buff. It's not bad, not bad at all. Let's see her skill. Now keep in mind this one. Uh, cannot be unlocked until level 60 so you basically have to level your up all your monster all the way or hero so her second passive once level to 60 is removed is serving hands so you remove one abnormal status from all allies at the end of the turn that is amazing <laughs> activate resolve upon taking damage greater than the caster's current HP restores all allies HP by 30% and decreases the all skill cooldown for one and upon death. Damn, that is just amazing. So when she dies, she she he, he even gives you something, you know, nice buff. So yeah, she is definitely going on my arena team. Once I get her nice and leveled. Let's go ahead and close that and hit close. So that is it. That is my summoning. And this is the game. So what's the verdict? Well, I really like this game. If you played anything like this before, or if you like collecting awesome stuff and are into anime and RPGs, I very much recommend this game. Uh, the story is a bit lackluster, and it really is nothing new, but it's fun and addicting, and Netmarble really takes care of its users. I'm serious. There's a bunch of free stuff. Yes, you can buy stuff. They do have a shop, and you can pay to win. In fact, I guarantee you there are many pay to win people in this game already and it's only been out for about a month I think it came out at the beginning of June but 
t trust me, just play the game, log in every day, you'll get lots of free stuff. I've spent like 20 bucks on this game so far just to get a couple, you know, cool things. Other than that, it's been pretty much all just me logging in every day and doing stuff. And look at all the stuff I have. I mean, it's so much stuff that I, you have to go constantly getting rid of it and use it for various, you know, things. But like I said, real great game. I really highly recommend it. Uh, I will be posting more videos if this gets any attention, uh, explaining lots of different intricate uh, details of the game, including PvP, uh, how to level up your monsters, what monsters to choose. So if uh, you like my video, you know, go ahead and tune in. Once again, I am Jester. This was my review and walkthrough of Knight's Chronicle. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, all. Peace.